All right, it's been a little while, but uh, hello, Scorpio. Long time no say. Hmm, there we go. Famous Scorpio style already. I wasn't even asking a question, but uh, we got the lover's card that popped out, which is the card of Gemini. Okay, I'm going to put that up there for just a moment. All right. Anyway, I was talking to you. How you been, Scorpio? All right. Like I was saying, it's been a little while, but school is out, and I'm ready to dive back into it. So, let's get this started. This is going to be for love. So we have the lovers, and we also have the nine of swords, and it is in reverse. <laughs> Starting off this way already. Something is over, but I don't see anyone moving on. But I see something is over. I also see that somebody is, somebody might have been doing something with someone that maybe they shouldn't have. All right. That's what's going on in the love department. So what does this mean for Scorpio? Quick answers. Ten of Wands. Seven of Swords. Hmm. So it looks like you may have been scorned. It's like somebody's going to make another person's life a living hell. That's what I'm getting out of this. Look at this. That's what that means for Scorpio. Now, could it be the other way around? Yes. Could it have been a Scorpio that scorned somebody? Absolutely. However, this stuff can happen to you too. Okay. Whoever it is, somebody is going to be, is about to be very vindictive and they're plotting something with another person. Let's find out who it is <laughs> for Scorpio and Scorpio cross watchers. Okay. Now, you know, it's funny because everything this week has felt like a cheating scenario. So I feel like there's a lot of things that are tied in together. The Aries reading that I did um, had a lot of different people in that reading. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Scorpio showed up, I think, twice in the Aries reading. And it was a very grotesque reading, so you might want to kind of check it out. So, if you were dealing with an Aries or... There was, there was, a, lot of different, there was a lot of different signs in that reading. But this is kind of like feeling like the theme this week. Maybe there's going to be certain things rising to the surface. Okay. All right. Let's find out who this is. Who is it? This Scorpio is dealing with. Hmm. Ten of Swords. Let me. Let me. Is is it Scorp? Who is it? Is it Scorpio or is it the person that Scorpio is dealing with? That is going to be vindictive. Let's clarify that first. Four Pentacles in reverse. It, it, it is what it is. It's going to be either or. We're just going to put it that way. Because I'm kind of seeing two different... I'm seeing it go two different ways. I'm seeing it as... This is, a, this is, you know... I'm seeing a male Scorpio dealing with somebody who's running their mouth, being spiteful and vindictive. I'm not saying that they're justified or not. But I'm seeing a male Scorpio having a problem with somebody who's talking trash. Maybe they're right too. They're wrong too. I don't know. That's what I'm seeing. On the other side of the coin, I'm seeing a female Scorpio talking trash about another person. Could actually be a male Virgo in particular. If a Scorpio female is dealing with a male Virgo, it really or Capricorn, I'm kind of getting that too. I'm just getting it. Okay. Um, and we do have this pentacle here. Now, I'm hearing watch your back. Watch your back. Queen of Swords. 
Somebody's really, really got it out for somebody. What was it that happened? What was it that happened before I, you know, because I had this going a certain way, but the curiosity is getting to me. So what was it that happened? What was it that happened? Oh my gosh. Two timing. Two timing. Somebody was two timing another person. Somebody was controlling. Somebody was two timing. Somebody maybe has a bad attitude or a bad temper. So somebody either two timed that person. Something about another person was very, very possessive, very controlling. That's what it is. Somebody was very possessive and controlling. However, <sighs> Do as I say, not as I do. I'm getting something like that. Do as I say, not as I do. It's okay for me to go out and do this, do, do all this behind your back, but don't do that behind my back. <laughs> no, you don't do that behind my back. You know, that's not how this works. And that's what I'm kind of getting. Do as I say, not as I do. All right. So, have you ever been in one of those relationships? Somebody's very controlling, but they're the one that's kind of like, Giving to the whole town. <laughs> yeah. This is get this could really get out of control. Okay. This really could get out of control. Somebody really needs to watch their temper. Somebody really needs to watch or monitor their somebody needs to maybe monitor something. Somebody maybe needs to get something to monitor their home and their possessions, okay? I'm not saying somebody is right or wrong, but when it comes to certain things that are violent in nature, the, you know, um, somebody may come to somebody's house and, like, do some damage to somebody's home. That's what somebody, it's kind of like <laughs> somebody's having a very difficult time because they maybe know somebody's every move. They've clocked somebody. That's what I'm getting. Somebody has clocked another person. They know they're, you know, they know what time they leave. They know what time, whatever. It's not very sporadic. Somebody's a, a creature of habit, okay? So somebody knows what somebody else is doing. Somebody could be watching another person. I don't like this energy, <laughs> okay? Um, so it's going to be difficult for someone to, and I'm not trying to scare anyone, okay? But let's face it. We live in a world where people are just... They don't play by the rules, you know. Sometimes just wishing goodness isn't always going to do it. Or sometimes turning a blind eye isn't always going to do it. You know, it is what it is. Unfortunately, when you do, when you do certain things, these are the consequences that you have to face. Or if you get involved with somebody like this. So... Let's face it, I mean, I've gotten involved with people like this, but I've never done anything. You know, I'm not violent or anything like that. But, you know, I've made bad choices with people. You know, I've, I've ignored red flags and that has brought things to me. So, you know, whoever it is in this scenario, I feel like they may have actually had it coming to them. They may have actually done something to make somebody want to retaliate. Okay. Now, for everyone, no, it's not going to be the case. You know, it really could be. You know, let's roll the dice because it could be somebody who really is just a really good person and just has poor taste in, in lovers, you know, and they ignore red flags because they like somebody who's feisty. They like somebody who's, they like somebody who's a little dirty or they like somebody who's a little whatever, you know, and you ignore those red flags, you know, and this person is probably very possessive. Somebody may even find that kind of uh, attitude or mentality, sexy, you know, attractive, stimulating, you know, that possessiveness. So this person could be very loose, but they may also like expect you to be, you know, again, do as I say, not as I do. They may expect you to be loyal and faithful, but they're not going to give it. So if you say, you know what, I'm a good person. I, I'm very loyal. I'm very faithful. I'm not going to do any of this. I'm not going to partake in any of this. And I expect my lover to do the same. So goodbye. I'm leaving you. This person could be very mad, you know, because you left them because you're not willing to put up with their nonsense. Okay. So it's not always going to be the same thing. You know, whoever the bad guy in this scenario is. Okay. Um, so take it however it is, you know, because that's how it's going to be for a couple different people. Again, I was getting back to, you know, male Scorpio, and I was also getting back to a female Scorpio. 
So it's going to be different how it's, and I'm not saying that there isn't female Scorpios that aren't going to be, you know, like, you know, dealing with the male Scorpio, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to say that there aren't female Scorpios that are, um, that aren't doing some shady stuff. Okay. But what I'm reading in this scenario, I was particularly seeing a male Scorpio and a female Scorpio dealing with somebody who is, you know, possessive. And then the, and then the male Scorpio is doing some shady stuff. And then, you know, you figured out. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Okay. What is it that you need to know? Hmm. Somebody's straightening up. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Wands in reverse. Somebody wants another person to give something back. They want somebody to give something back. This could be a, a high ticket item. Something like that. You know, let's say somebody bought somebody a car. Uh, or something like that. Let's say somebody used another person to get certain things. You know? Um, you know, that's where something, you know, like legal or the law needs to kind of step in. You know? Something like that. And that's what that is. I feel like they're not going to get it back. You may have to kind of like Cut your losses. All right. Now, for some, there is something else that could be coming in. You know, let's say, all right. Let's say, let's say you destroyed your boyfriend's car because he was cheating on you. You know, uh, you may have to pay. You may have to pay restitution. You know, I'm not seeing anything as of yet. You know, as of right now, I'm not really seeing any law getting involved. Is it possible? Yes. I'm only saying that because it could be a result of that. It's very possible that somebody may not do anything about it because it might draw attention to them. So they may not even report it. It's very possible. So somebody's, don't, somebody's definitely going to be suffering a loss. Okay. There's, I'm getting something about something coming in a little bit slow. Or maybe not as quick as you want it to come in. All right. Somebody could be doing something at night. Only thing I'm going to say is, you know, you might want to monitor, you know, somebody maybe wants to monitor their home or something like that, their possessions. Um, again, though, oh, going back to that, though, there's somebody that could be watching another person. That's what I'm getting. I was getting like somebody has another person clocked. Okay. This is a little bit yikes, yikes, yikes. The moon. Cancer energy for me. Other readers like to like to call that uh, Pisces. I cancer for me. It's cancer. So cancer energy. You don't know, again. The nighttime is highlighted. You know, I'm looking at these gates. I'm looking at these dogs. This is mm, this is like strange and creepy. Cryptic. Somebody maybe needs to get a dog. <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to kind of like, ugh. I wasn't planning on doing all this, but man. Okay. So here's what we got. You got the Knight of Wands there. You have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You have the, you know, the Moon card. Now, you also have the Leo energy. So let's, let's recap. We have the Gemini energy. We have, we have, nearly every sign here okay we have earth air fire and water um however we we have gemini we have leo specifically and we have um cancer specifically with that in a nutshell let's wrap this up i have somebody that was doing something behind another person's back or somebody is very very vindictive whatever it was whatever it was regardless of whatever it was that somebody somebody did they did or didn't do somebody wants justice Okay, so somebody's probably going to do something to take it out on another person. With that, somebody wants to hurt, injure another person, um, whether that is spiritually, mentally, emotionally, 
Could it be physically? I don't see it as physically, but I'm not going to rule it out at this point, so just be careful. Um, even financially, somebody definitely wants to ruin somebody financially, okay? Somebody wants to take away something from another person. Um, they want to they want to get back at another person. Now, I'm getting that somebody has somebody somebody has you clocked or you have somebody clocked. You know, what time they come, what time they go, what time they do this, what time they do that. Okay, somebody could be a creature of habit. Uh, they could be very um, meticulous. So, I don't know why I got the word meticulous. Um, but somebody could be coming to do something to steal something from you or take something from you. Make sure that you maybe are monitoring your home. Make sure if you're going away or something like that, you know, you have neighbors say, hey, keep an eye out. If you see something unusual, call the police or whatever, something like that. Somebody may even want to get something like, you know, for their home, an alarm system, uh, whatever. Because whatever it is, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, look, people do things. People cheat. You know, people do horrible, horrible things. Okay. But the extreme, extreme behaviors is not, it's not civilized. Okay. This feels a little bit, it could be bordering extreme, um, where somebody really wants to do something to get back at another person, okay? So regardless, it's wrong. It's wrong. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. Be careful at night. Somebody definitely is going to be very deceptive. Somebody wants to, somebody wants to, somebody wants to do something to somebody financially. Somebody could even be, you know, I'm I'm not getting anything as far as online, but I can't rule that out because, you know, I'm not I'm not technically getting anything about being online, but um it feels a little close to home. This feels a little close to home. So, be careful. You you handle it the way that you want. You know, whatever it is that you do is your karma. You know, whatever it is that they do is their karma. So if you get it on camera, you know, you have them. Anything. But I don't know. You got to know who it is. To get somebody, to capture somebody on camera, you have to know who it is. To identify them. So. All right. And if somebody goes through certain measures, that's really, really creepy. You know, to evade. This whole thing is a little bit creepy, honestly. It's creepy, you know. Uh, to know that people are capable of doing these things, and it's not even a, a movie, it's not even for entertainment, it's actually real life, is creepy. But, um, so, you know, be careful out there. Watch yourself. And, uh, I don't know, be safe. Um, I'll see you next week. Hopefully things get better by then. And um, drop me a comment, let me know. If this is your story, if this makes sense to you, um, and then just kind of heed the warning if you need to. Or if you are the person, then maybe it's good to think twice about whatever it is that you may be thinking about doing, okay? Um, let nature take its course. Uh, that's it. Um, subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, hit the thumbs up. And um, <laughs> I forget what platform I'm on. Um, hit the thumbs up. And uh, I already said, drop me a comment. But, um, it's a notification bell, so you get notified every time I upload a new video. That's it.